Welcome back ornamental fisheries viewers. Now today we'll be using this 5 gallon bucket to create a cheap DIY filter. Now you'll be needing a couple of PVC parts, 1 inch elbow, a 1 inch, a one inch male and female adapter. You'll be needing a reducer which reduces from 1 inch to half. You'll be needing half inch male and female adapter. Now these rubbers, I use this rubber to create a washer that would go onto the male adopters, both half inch and one inch. Now you will be needing some PVC pipe, three inches, half inch, one inch, six inches, and uh, the one inch, 15 inches. Now I also prepared a ball valve. It It is a half inch ball valve and I have two pieces of pipe already fitted to it now we'll just go right ahead and we'll start creating this cheap simple diy filter no now if you look on the bucket you realize that the holes are already cut already so I used a circular cutter and cut those holes both for the half inch pipe and the one inch. All right. So first we are going to put our washer onto our half inch male adapter. And uh, after we have finished putting it onto it, we are going to screw it in with the female at the bottom. Now this half inch is going to act as a area in which we would release all the heavy waste after it has been filtered now it will be trapped at the bottom so this is like a drain pipe to release all the waste from your filter bucket now as we actually tighten this male and female adopter because we don't want to have any leaks all right so if you look inside there you'll see that piece there so we are going to add that piece of three inches half inch we are going to put it in on the inside all right so that will rest right under the basket where the hard waste would remain at the bottom now we are going to be putting on our one inch t onto our piece of 15 inch one inch pipe after doing that we are going to put it through the basket because this will act as the area the pipe that will be our intake pipe this will actually be connected back to the pump and as you see, we are already pre-cut those holes in the mesh basket. Now we'll put it right down at the bottom and you see it fits over the half inch and the one inch comes up. So these regular baskets can be found at any one of your haberdasher stores. Um, so you can go out and get one. They are very cheap. Now we are going to be um, screwing in our outlet now this is the one inch um we are going to be placing there now this would actually depends on the flow of your pump now if your pump has a heavy flow you would need to use like a bigger outlet or maybe two outlets right so your outlet would depend on the flow rate of your pump so a one inch is okay for the flow rate of our pump so we'll be only using the one inch pipe that will return the filtered water back to your aquarium or your pond we are going to add that six inch piece of one inch pipe also right at the end so after the water is filtered and it comes up it would be released through that area 
all right so as we continue we are going to add our first filter media now our first filter media we are going to be using the smaller stones around the mesh basket right so we are going to put in those stones at and around the mesh basket what it does it traps all the heavy waste so the heavy large waste that will be trapped around the basket now these stones will also help to trap any heavy waste that escape so we are going to pack them right around the basket After placing small stones to cover all the air to cover the mesh basket at the bottom now we're going to add a second layer of filtration now this material is known as wadding you can get in at your local fabric store to purchase now we'll be placing this wadding right on the top of the small stones right around now we cut it in some smaller squares so that it can fit appropriately right around now this layer of filtration acts also as a biological filtration because as those fine particles are itched into into that um, mesh it creates what is known as a biological filtration so it is where healthy bacteria grows now we'll place all that wadding in and then what we are going to do we are going to use the larger stones to hold it down and to keep it in place so these larger stones we are going to put them on the top to keep it in place and to ensure that all of the area all of that surface area is covered with the wadding because we don't want the wadding to really come up and block your outlet flow. so after covering the top with the large larger stones we're going to be placing on the cover now we punch a hole in the cover 
so that the inlet pipe can come through so we are closing down our filter bucket now we are going to add our final connections which is the reducer that will reduce the one inch pipe down to a half inch to facilitate the outlet from our pump now we'll place that elbow right at the top with the reducer so our outlet pipe from our pump will be connected to that area so this will also depends on the size of your pump outlet so that is optional but our outlet is a half inch outlet we will be using now this is our outlet pipe as well that will remove all the heavy waste that has been trapped at the bottom under our mesh basket so we'll just attach it there with the ball valve that you can turn on as soon as you realize that your filter is heavy has a lot of hard waste at the bottom now this is what your filter bucket looks like what we're going to do we're going to test the filter bucket for you to see how it works so here is a demonstration of our diy bucket filter in action now we have connected our pump which is a submersible pump so it's down inside the pond we are going to show you the quality of the water that is in the pond currently as you can see it is well dirty and it has a lot of particles in it now take a look at the water that is coming out of the bucket filter take a look at how it is clear just by passing through your bucket filter so you see that our bucket filter is filtering our water with a hundred percent effectiveness thanks much for tuning in please remember to share like comment and subscribe ornamental fishways